Hello everyone, welcome back to another High Pixel Skyblock video, and in this chest right here is pure progress. Now, I have an aspect of the end, a full set of ender armor, now this is all at the auction house, this probably cost me about 400k in total, so that's actually a really good price for that, and I have 8 growth and protection 4 books, I'm going to combine those together in the growth 5 and protection 5 and put it on the ender set. And I also have enough materials here to get a magma bow. So, I'm just going to craft up the magma bow right here. There we go. Now I just need the enchanted string. Look at that. 100 damage and 100 strength. Now, it's not that much better than the hurricane's bow, but it has an ability which, if you have magma cream in your quiver, it does two times the amount of damage. I don't know if it increases the strength as well, but I'm fairly certain it's just the damage. So that means it'll do 200 damage instead of 100 damage, which is actually insane compared to my Hurricane's Bow that I have over here. So I've combined all of the protection and growth books into growth 5 and protection 5. So now all I have to do is add them to the armor, and then I should have a nice set of ender armor that I can actually survive in the end with. Okay, so I added all the enchantments on this ender set, and I now want to see what my stats are. Okay, so it looks like my stats, at least health-wise, is actually better than my speedster set, not even in the end. So that's like amazing, actually, because because the ender set really isn't that good outside the end. But apparently, it gives quite a lot of health. Now it doesn't do that well defense-wise, but really, I'm not too bothered about that because once I get into the end, it should be way better. And look at that! I'm gonna have to kill this Enderman real quick. 1,289 health and 527 defense. That's crazy. Now I do want to see how well I can actually survive. Okay, so these Endermen really don't do any damage, at least the uh, 4,500 ones. So that's quite nice. I'm very happy with this. Okay, so I now want to see how well I do against these 9,000 health Endermen right here. So my sword's not that great, so I obviously can't one-shot them. But really, I can hold my own. Like, this ender set is pretty good. Looks like I'm getting attacked from behind as well. Oh, it's just an endermite. The endermites are actually kind of powerful. They don't have much health, but they do a lot of damage. I also managed to get in on a dragon fight over there. So I got three protector dragon fragments, which is like the worst thing you can ever get. But I was using this magma bow that doesn't have aiming on it, so I was only able to hit it like five times or something, which didn't help the amount of loot I got whatsoever. So, I mean, I got these frags, which is okay. It'll help, it'll help me craft some armor if I ever do want to craft protector armor. So, yeah, now I should definitely max out this bow. Or should I save it for a Runon's bow? I'm not sure. I might just max out this magma bow, because this is basically as good as a Runon's bow. Because this actually has like the same stats, if you consider the magma cream bonus. It's just the Runon's bow shoots three arrows, when this one only shoots one. So the Runon's bow is better, but the magma bow is okay as well. I'm thinking I am going to max out, or at least get the important enchantments on this magma bow pretty soon because I do want to start doing dragon fights. But before I get to maxing my magma bow, I do want to get a full godly ender set. Which, what does superior give? Strength, crit chance, that's not bad, but I'm pretty sure godly is slightly better. And this is also using like all of my coins. Okay. This isn't bad. Godly... I'm pretty sure you want Godly or Zealous, but I think Godly is what I'm going to go for at the moment. Now if I get a Zealous, 
Reforge. I will just see what it what it offers, and then decide if I want Godly or Zealous. But I'm pretty sure Godly is better. Now I do have about 700k coins, so I should be fine to get all of this Ender Armor reforged. All right, I'll take that. I'm getting all the bad ones at the moment. What's Titanic? Oh, that's not that great. Okay, dot wise is kind of tempting. Nah, I think I'm gonna go for Godly or Zealous. Because I do have a full wise speedster set, which is this right here. But really, the mana isn't that important if you don't want to go super fast. I mean, I guess if you want to teleport with the aspect of the end, you might need it. And the zombie sword ability obviously requi requires mana as well, so... More mana is great, but really, I think the crit chance and crit damage is better. Okay, now... This is Zealous. 3 strength, 3% 3 crit, and crit damage. Okay, so Godly is way better. Not way better, but definitely better. Now I'm down to only about 6.5k. Which obviously isn't great, but... It should be fine. There we go. Godly. And now all I need is Godly on these boots. And here we go. Full Godly Ender Set. I don't know if that's, like, I don't know how much more damage it's going to do, but I think it's pretty good. So the main enchants I'm going to be going for on my Magma Bow are Aiming, Power, and Infinite Quiver. Now, if I could get, like, First Strike or Ender Slayer on it, then I'm definitely going to do that, but I'm not quite sure if I can add those to a bow. I'm fairly certain they're only Sword in chance, but I think I'm just gonna try just in case. Okay, so I got an Infinite Quiver 5 enchant, so let's see what I got. Alright, just Infinite Quiver, that's fine. The knockback protection doesn't apply to a bow, so that doesn't really matter. Alright, looks like I got an aiming enchant, so let's see what I get on this bow. Alright, I got aiming and Infinite Quiver, so that means I can just basically get rid of this book. I can save that, maybe sell it in the auction house. I don't know if anyone's gonna actually buy it, but you know, even if I could get a thousand coins for it, it's worth it, in my opinion. So now, all I need is power. I got an Ender Slayer book, and I think I'm gonna just get that, just in case I can put it on a bow, and if even if I can't put it on the bow, I can still get it on my sword, so. Okay, apparently Infinite Quiver is really common. So, I'm not sure if that'll, like, affect. Like, I don't think you can get Infinite Quiver 6. I'm pretty sure it only goes up to 5. So, yeah. Actually, can I craft power books? I'm pretty sure I can. Now, actually... I'm fairly certain I crafted power books before. Yeah, here we go. Power 4. Oh, it's only 60... Or not 64. 24 paper and 40 bones. So that's not too bad. Alright, here's one power book. And there's another power book. Okay. So I now have power 5. Infinite quiver 5. And... What was the other one? I forget. Aiming 5, that's what that's it. Okay. I can put these bones back. Now, I don't really know how many levels I'm going to need. But it's definitely going to be more than 3, so I'm just going to go up to 61. Alright. I'm not planning on, like, super enchanting this bow, so I'm not going to bother enchanting, like, efficiently. Okay, there's power 5. And I'm going to add... See, where's that 
I need the aiming and infinite quiver right here. 37 levels, okay, that's pretty bad. I might need more. Alright, I am gonna see if I can get Ender Slayer on this. Okay, this is the Ender Slayer book. I cannot get Ender Slayer on it. But so I guess I'm just gonna put that on my sword. And okay. Here's the aiming. This is really all I need. I could definitely go better than that. But I don't think I'm gonna need to. Like I wanna see what my hurricane bow had on it. Now I know I put my hurricane bow in this chest right here. Okay, I can't get cubism. Yeah, I'm not gonna need that at all. And oh yeah, telekinesis. Well, I can just get that for 100 coins at the gold mine, so I'm not too bothered about that. Okay, so I'm looking at a maxed out Runon's bow here on the auction house. I just wanted to see what other enchants I could get on this if I wanted to. And it looks like Snipe 3. That's something I might want to get. And Dragon Hunter 5. Those are the only other two that I definitely want to get. Because I don't think Impaling and Piercing, I don't think those are going to do anything. Because I know those are vanilla enchants. Like, you can get those in plain Minecraft without any mods or anything. And they, they're not that good. I know Impaling goes on a Trident and Piercing goes on a Crossbow. And Piercing just makes it so your arrow goes through a mob and goes to another one. If you're lucky enough for there to be the mobs lined up. Which almost never happens, that's why it's not useful. So, yeah, I think Dragon Hunter and Snipe are the only ones I'm going to go for. So I also added Snipe and Punch to my Magma Bow, and also reforged it to Rapid. So I made it quite a lot better. And now all I have to do is max out this aspect of the end. Now I'm not going to get any of the useless enchants, like Cubism. No one really needs Cubism, unless you're fighting the Magma Cube boss, I guess. That might be kind of nice to have. But, yeah, the main enchants I'm going to want on this aspect of the end is Ender Slayer, Sharpness, uh, definitely what I don't want is Fire Aspect and Knockback. Those are just kind of annoying. And also Venomous and Cleave. Those are all bad enchants that you don't want on a sword. Now, some other ones are Looting, uh, Scavenger, First Strike, Giant Killer. Luck is okay. I mean, like, you don't need luck. But if you're trying to get Ender Armor, then you're definitely going to want it. And definitely don't get Bane of Arth Arthropods like I have on my Zombie Sword. Now, I didn't put Bane of Arthropods on this sword. I actually bought this off the auction house. And it had Bane of Arthropods on it. So I was kind of unlucky. But I'm definitely not going to make that mistake with this aspect of the end. Okay, so it's been quite a while because I did run out of Grand Experience bottles, but I've finally gotten all the enchants that I really wanted on this sword. I mean, I'm obviously, I'm going to get more enchants on this, maybe looting, I don't know, any other various enchants that I might think of later. But for now, I think this sword is all I'm going to need. So I'm going to go over to the end and see how much damage I do to these Endermen. Now, ideally I will one or two shot these 4,500 4, ones, but that might not happen. I don't really know. Okay, three shot. That's not that bad. I'm definitely going to need to Talisman spam a little more. So if I go to my accessory bag, I'm going to want all of these on Godly, I'd say, because I need the crit chance. Okay, so, depending on how, if I crit or not, I do one or two shot them. Now, Godly also gives crit damage as well, so my crits will do more. Like, I'm pretty sure, if I saw that right, I'm pretty sure I was a 4,100%, yeah, it was like a 4,100 crit damage, which is pretty good, compared to my other sword at least. My zombie sword had like, I don't know, I'm pretty sure... 1,200 percent? I keep saying percent, but 1,200 crit damage. Which isn't that bad, but it's definitely not going to one-shot these guys. 
Now it looks like I am. Let's see, that's a 600 or 6,001. Yeah, I'm three shotting these 6,000 hit point Endermen. So it looks like I might just have to wait until I get the Pigment Sword to one shot the Zealots. Because I'm gonna need summoning eyes to actually do dragon fights. Which I am planning on doing eventually. And I'm actually starting to die. I was kind of not paying attention to my health as much because I don't really need to. But yeah, I'm definitely gonna need to wait until I get the pigment sword to one shot the zealots. So now I'm just gonna take all of these talismans out of my bag that aren't already godly. And I'm just gonna reforge all of them to godly and hopefully get a pretty good crit chance and obviously more crit damage is always good sitting here trying to get godly on like 15 talisman is easily the most boring thing you could do in high pixel skyblock like this is more boring than fishing okay so I now have a full talisman bag full of godly talisman and well it only took about an hour and a half to reforge all these. And it actually took a really large amount of coins, probably like 400,000. Yeah, I don't have like any coins left anymore. Like if I go, I only have 300,000. Which compared to what I had before, had almost a million. Yeah, it's pretty bad. It's pretty bad. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. Remember to like, subscribe. And I hope to see you in the next Minecraft video. Bye, everyone.